Hi, this is Jeff Ampan with the Star Herald. I'm speaking with Amy Winters of WNCC. Uh, Amy, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I have worked at WNCC since um, 2004. I started as, as an assistant volleyball coach with Chris Green and coached for four years. We won a national championship in 2007. Then I worked in admissions for a while and was adjunct teaching math and eventually got hired as full-time math faculty, which was my dream job. And I have been a math teacher, full-time math teacher, oh, nine years maybe. And this just this fall, I became the division chair for the math and science departments. So, so I've been at WCC for a while. Tell me a little bit about the Breast Cancer Awareness Night that's happening on Friday. Okay, so we have been doing this for, oh geez, 2005, probably 13 or 14 years. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2005, and um, I was fairly young for a breast cancer diagnosis, and at the time they had an event called Dig Pink to where they were trying to get colleges all over the United States, and they still do it, but the first couple of years we did dig, dig Pink, and the money was donated to cancer, breast cancer research. And for me, I was digging, trying to find out where that money was going, and um, I couldn't really get a, an answer. So then we kind of talked and decided we were gonna keep the money local, and so we started having our own fundraiser and donating the money to the Festival of Hope. And for a while it was called Think Pink. We got a letter one time stating, hey, this is our, our name, our trademark. So then we changed it to Positively Pink, I think four years ago, and we trademarked that name. And so the event is just always at a volleyball match in October at WNCC, and um, it's a fundraiser for the Festival of Hope to generate awareness about breast cancer and just a fun night at, at the college volleyball match. So is it still called Positively Pink? It is Positively okay. Pink, yes. But it's like P-A-W right. for the Cougar Paws, Z-I-T-I-V-E-L-Y, and then, of course, Pink. And some of it's capitalized, but yes. And you mentioned that they uh, donate the funds locally to Festival of Hope. Is that the admission? Or do they do concessions as well? Well, we usually sell shirts, and we have sponsors for the shirts. We've had the same sponsors for years. It's always been um, WNCC, Runza, and Scottsdale Screen Printing. But the last couple of years, it seemed like the shirt sales were down a little bit, and people were wearing their older shirts. We had been selling them for so long, and we had so many. And so I just felt like uh, this year uh, I was trying to deplete my stock. I have some different ones, so selling the old ones, and then we're going to have some donation jars at the event so people can still make donations for the Festival of Hope. And then we're hoping to have something really cool next year. Like we've, we've been throwing around some ideas, something new and different to maybe generate those sales again. You mentioned that you, Festival of Hope is who you you guys uh, decided to donate money to. How did you pick Festival of Hope? Well, you know, the Festival of Hope uh, is an organization that serves the entire panhandle, and they help people with cancer, any type of cancer. And they help with non-medical costs. So they don't pay your insurance, they don't pay your medical bills, but a lot of times people who are going through cancer treatments can't work or they have to travel for their treatments. So they can help with travel, they can help with your bills like when I was first diagnosed I was able to work most of the time um, I took Fridays off usually because of my my treatment uh, was on Thursday afternoon and so they paid my city bill for six months and so keeping in it keeping it in the panhandle I think is important and then just knowing that there's so many people that that need that additional support you know you think about women when they lose their hair a lot that's the common thing for women and needing wigs and hair coverings you know my hair both times I've lost my hair it's been to my butt and the first time I lost my hair I was planning my wedding and I had my hairstyle picked out I was devastated and the first thing that we did before my hair was gone was run to Colorado and get an expensive wig that had highlights that looked exactly like my hair and then when I put it on 
after I had no hair, it hurt my head, and I had hot flashes, and so I couldn't stand to wear it. I didn't even wear it. Spent several hundred dollars on it. So for me, after I was done, I donated all my stuff to the Festival of Hope because they could, well, I guess it's the Cancer Center for that, but people can go up to the Cancer Center at Regional West and borrow items. They can borrow wigs, they can borrow hats, stocking caps, caps, bandanas. So that's another really cool thing that we have going in the Panhandle. But you just think that, you know, it, it really hits a lot of people hard. And I was still able to work, but a lot of people are not. So I think that's very important to have that support system in place. And uh, the date and time of the event? Oh, this Friday. Uh, we play NJC, so two top 20 teams. I think we're ranked 18 and NJC's 20, and it's always amazing when when WNCC and NJC volleyball meet. So we're hoping for a full house. If people wear pink, they get a dollar off of admission. Um, any breast cancer survivors, all they have to do is say that they're a survivor and they get in for free. Um, if you have a pink shirt, doesn't matter what shade of pink, wear it. Uh, we always have spray paint, pink spray paint. We take the little kids outside and spray paint their hair. And then, like I said, we'll have some donation jars this time since we're not doing the shirt sales this year so people can make donations. Or you can always just uh, make a donation. You know, uh, Vince and Vicki Bjorling are the ones that kind of got that thing spearheaded. And now there's a lot of opportunities for fundraising in the panhandle where that money goes to the Festival of Hope. So it's really grown and it's really cool to see that. Thank you, Amy, for joining us for In the Press Box. This is Jeff M. Penn. I'm the sports editor of the Star Herald.